Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel, and it's official my friends, we only have 60 days to go until The Walking Dead returns to our television screens for Season 4, and already, the rumour mill is fully functional and spewing out words of glorious anticipation in regards to what could happen in the very first episode. Already we have been told to expect the drama to kick off immediately in the highly anticipated Season 4 premiere, but exactly what do they mean by drama? Well, from a huge emphasis on the threat from the walkers, a suspected attack on the prison and the potential death of a major character, it would appear that in 60 days time, AMC's televised version of The Walking Dead will be taking the series in a shocking new direction. It's no secret that the premiere of The Walking Dead's fourth season will be looking to grab as much attention as possible after a somewhat anticlimactic finale that was arguably overshadowed by the penultimate episode, which saw Rick's failed attempts to reconcile with the governor and Merle Dixon's efforts to keep his brother safe from said governor's merciless wrath. To close season three, Rick brought the entire civilian population of Woodbury to the prison. This piece of information coincides perfectly with the information we already have about the premiere and season 4 in general thus far, so let's get into that in more detail. We, the general public and viewers, have already been told to expect an attack on the prison in the first episode in various interviews. While many people would put two and two together and assume that the governor, who is indeed still at large in season 4, will be the one carrying out the attack, we have also been told that the zombies will be a bigger threat than ever and a new threat will also cause trauma and torment outside of the usual human and zombie drama. But no information has been released on what that threat may be. So, where is the attack coming from, and what will this attack mean for the group at the prison? With three huge threats in the Walker population, the governor's psychotic rage, and this currently unnamed new threat, I think that it is safe to say that the entire civilian population in the prison right now will be wiped clean in the premiere, leaving just our usual group and a select few casual survivors along the way, such as Karen and whoever else joins the cast as regulars from Woodbury. This attack on the prison I think will happen in the first episode to kick things off with a bang, and what bigger bang than both a rumoured zombie baby, a huge attack and the death of a major character. Norman Reedus who plays Daryl Dixon on the show recently tweeted a few intriguing pictures. One picture showed the group gathered at a suspected death dinner where the cast past and present gathered to say goodbye to a cast member whose character has died and will be leaving the show. Perhaps coincidentally, Reedus also tweeted a picture of Scott Wilson, the actor who plays Herschel, covered in blood. The day before, Reedus also tweeted a picture showing Wilson in the same outfit, but without the blood. So, could this suspected attack on the prison and the death of Herschel Green be the groundbreaking premiere that we are being promised? More importantly, how does this attack on the prison potentially kill Herschel if indeed it does? Well, let's face it guys, it's no secret that Herschel, a one-legged old man, is an easy target for both human and undead attacks. After a number of near misses in Season 3, the old farmer, vet surgeon and patriarch of the Green family, whose only surviving daughters and family members, Maggie and Beth, are safely in the prison with the rest of the group, could easily be the first victim in Season 4 if the current images are anything to go by. But equally, being the doctor of the group, he could easily be covered in blood for a number of other different reasons. An attack on the prison would inevitably mean casualties. Being the good-natured man he is, Mr. Herschel Green would obviously stop at nothing to help who he can whenever he can, which means he would be covered in blood by default. Robert Kirkman, the creator of the series, also pretty much confirmed in a recent interview in early August that a zombie baby is pretty much guaranteed in Season 4, as the show is once again looking to break some barriers and make some headlines. This will be the first time we've seen a zombie baby in mainstream television and film since Dawn of the Dead in 2004. What better place to start with breaking barriers than the premiere? A pregnant civilian could have had her labour induced by a sudden attack and die from the shock while giving birth with Dr. Herschel Green overlooking the entire thing, hence being covered in blood while delivering a zombie baby. These two things tie together. If you guys pay close attention to season 3, we did see a pregnant woman a number of times in some Woodbury scenes in the background as an extra, and when being briefed on Woodbury, Andrea was told that someone was about to pop. Of course, with Season 4 being set a number of months after Season 3, it is likely that such a pregnancy wouldn't be linked to the past and instead, it may be a completely new event and a completely new character in general. Alternatively, the obvious choice would be baby Judith, the daughter of Laurie and Rick, or Shane, cough, cough. 
Could the attack on the prison lead to baby Judith's demise and reanimation, only for Herschel to attempt to save her and be bitten and killed in the process? Or perhaps there won't be a zombie baby in the premiere at all, and Herschel, who in the aforementioned picture has blood mainly in the location of his shirt, is simply shot dead during an attack on the prison? Who knows, everything is really just speculation right now, and all of this new information, news and rumours has really got my creativity rolling to say the least. It has to be said though guys, Herschel being an easy target and being so incredibly lucky to be alive since he had his leg amputated in the season 3 premiere in 2012 is a likely candidate to be killed off early in season 4. If they want to start things off with a bang, killing off the much loved Herschel Green would indeed be a great way to ignite the bomb so to speak. So guys, with 60 days to go until the premiere, talk of a major character death circulating, news of a new unnamed threat, and banter in regards to a potential zombie baby, do you think the season 4 premiere of AMC's The Walking Dead will be groundbreaking or lacklustre? Sound off in the comments below and let me know what you think about the information I have pieced together in this little vloggity piece, and who knows, perhaps in 60 days time, between my overactive imagination and you guys in the comments section, we may have predicted the outcome of the premiere. Don't forget, Season 4 airs on October 13th, 2013, and I will have a new vlog talking about the show every day until then. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this little video. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and help out a growing YouTuber and zombie fanatic. Thanks, guys. Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel, saying goodbye.